Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the English news edition brought to you live from RTD channel, the headlines for tonight are And uh, uh, today it's the April 9th, uh, a date that is prominently featured in uh, the annals of our uh, country and concerning the decentralization reflection meeting for the improvement of civil registration services and on the international scene, Damascus and Moscow accuse Israel of bombing a Syrian base Let's get into the details now. Uh, today is the April uh, 9, a date that is uh, prominently featured in the annals of uh, the Republic of Djibouti. Indeed, on this date of uh, April 9, 1999, mark uh, the election of Ismail Margili as the president of uh, the Republic of Djibouti. It's our report tonight. Today is the 9th of April, a date that is primarily featured in the annals of the Republic of Djibouti. Indeed, on this date of April 9, 1999, marked by the election to the Supreme Office of President Ismail Mengele, opened a new page of our country after consolidating a national united and united a nation beaten on solid base. The father of nation, Hassan Gulit Abdidon, left the power and the people of Djibouti place. The hope in a new man, the President of the Republic, Ismail Magili, who was candidate to the Supreme Magistracy. It all started with the electoral campaign where the candidate goes to the country and meets these flower citizens to Supreme and make now his vision and his project for the Republic of Jabri. Many people believe in this while others seem to be taken from the dream which is their not very really. At the end of this campaign will take place on April 9, the presidential election that will bring Ismail Megali to the Supreme Magistracy poll in the Plesmisti by 74.09% of the population. The candidate Ismail Megali that is already called is elected the President of the Republic which will change the heart of the history of this little piece of line of 23,000 the square of the beginning of the Red Sea for the simple reason that everything will change this dry country devoid of any infrastructure. And now concerning work of the National Assembly under the chairmanship of uh, Muhammad Ali Hamad, MPs held a working session today in the presence of Prime Minister Abdul Qadir Khan Muhammad, uh, ministers and all parliamentarians. The agenda of this working session was the examination of six bills admitted under urgent uh, procedures, namely uh, Bill Number no. One, amending and supplementing the Commercial Code; uh, Bill Number no. Two, amending and supplementing Law Number no. 179 on the charge of uh, ODP; Bill Number. No. Uh, three on the civil code, uh, bill number four on the civil procedures code, uh, bill number five amending the, the general tax code, and bill number six amending and supplementing the law. In addition, uh, this uh, plenary session took place in a special atmosphere after the re-election of Mohammed uh, Ali Muhammad as uh, president of the National Assembly and the formation of the new uh, bureau. And after the working session, MPs asked a question related with the uh, trade registry. He said, uh, a parliamentarian said before the issue, uh, business, uh, issue related with business uh, registers uh, was carried out with the Court of Commerce of the Justice, but a reform was engaged. Now it is uh, the ODP who is in charge of it, he said. The Minister of Justice answering to, this quest to his uh, question, he said that the registration of business register is on trust now to the only peak but uh, it is not the trade register which is moved but it is a new register called um, the movable uh, register the second question was related to the uh, business climate and how to revive the national econ economy or the takeoff of the national economy and if the government will take the necessary measures to uh, preserve jobs for uh, the Minister of Commerce answered uh, to this question. He said that this issue does not depend on the Commerce Department, but the Labor Inspectorate should control the labor market. 
and still with the national news the minister of energy in charge of natural resources Yunis Ali Gedi received yesterday afternoon the ambassador of the Republic of India uh, this meeting follows the visit of the delegation led by the, the president of the Republic Smail Margile to India at the confluence of the International Solar Alliance held in Indian uh, cabin on March 11th the minister and his host uh, a talk during uh, the encounter about the development opportunities for renewable energies especially uh, solar energy the two parties also stressed the importance of practical collaboration based on the mutual exchange and capacity building in the different energy field the Indian ambassador also stressed that his country was in the process of investing massively in 27 countries among the world in renewable energies the Minister of Equipment and Transport accompanied by a strong delegation including the Minister of Agriculture Mohammed uh, Ahmed Awali and the Director General of uh, the Jewishian Agency of the World, uh, many engineers uh, as well as Jewishian uh, technicians as well as Chinese, has carried out an inspection visit to the rehabilitation sites of the rehabilitation road at neighborhood 6 on the Zayla Road. The Minister did not fail to congratulate the teams who work hard on these uh, projects and urged them to proceed a sustainable as well as solid infrastructure. He also urged officials of the Jibushan World Agency to do more to provide the country with a quality infrastructure. Let's not forget that the work uh, was carried out jointly by the teams of engineers and technicians of the Agency of Road and as well the Chinese company known as CCECC as well. Uh, on a the, the work of the rehabilitation road lasted for two months. A training workshop on the management of small uh, funds for the uh, heads of association or cooperated for a good microfinance open uh, this uh, morning at the People's Palace. Uh, this two-day uh, meeting is initiated by the saving as well a credit union known as uh, CBEC. It aims to better equip the health of uh, the financial resources of the various associations. The National Commission for Microfinance is responsible for popularizing its knowledge and to benefit to as many people as possible possible. Discussions are also taking place on the evolution of the microfinance sector. Microfinance is used to help poor households to benefit from small loans so to rather take income generating activities and then gradually repay the small debt contracted. Another news, uh, the Delegate uh, Ministry of uh, Decentralization today organized a meeting of uh, reflection at the conference room of uh, the Institute of Diplomatic Status on uh, uh, the recommendation made to improve uh, civil registration services. This meeting brought together at the same table the heads and, uh, and executives of the Delegate Ministry in charge of decentralization, the representative of uh, the sectoral ministries and institutions concerned by the issue of birth uh, registration were also present. The Perfect of uh, uh, subregions or uh, the representative, the president of the regional council, as well communal council, the town hall, as well as the representative of the, the technical as well financial partners took part at this uh, meeting. This meeting follows the validation on last December of a report that explained the anomalies observed uh, during birth registration. Uh, this report was uh, was uh, prepared with the support of UNICEF in a a remark on this occasion, the representative of UNICEF, Mrs. Jenna Mahonde, highlighted the importance of birth registrations. And as part of uh, uh, the fight against uh, drug trafficking and uh, the illegal sale of alcoholic beverage, the PK-12 North uh, Brigade Gendarme succeeded in uh, dismantling a network of traffickers uh, during an operation conducted last April 6. The gendarme have arrested five individuals who were selling uh, narcotics and alcohol in various parts of the city. And during the same operation, the gendarme says that three cups of cannabis, herb of 900 grams, a 13 bottle of dry gin, 7 75 bags of whiskey, uh, 5 bottles of Ethiopian beer, uh, 25 beer uh, cans of uh, Kinsburg, 39 uh, pa plastic bottles uh, half filled with alcohol uh, beverage, 13 bottles of whiskey liqueur, as well as a sum of money of 100,000 Djibouti francs, which represent the receipt of these uh, criminal goods. Uh, the five uh, individuals involved will uh, soon be uh, brought uh, to justice.
And now headlines from the international news. Russia claims Israel behind uh, missile strikes on Syria. The Russian military is uh, claiming that Israel carried out uh, this missile attack on a Syrian uh, airfield uh, that's uh, believed to have left 14 pro-government soldiers dead. A Syrian state TV reported multiple casualties in what they say uh, believe was a suspected U.S. missile attack on a military airport in the early hours of uh, Monday. Washington deny any involvement in the strikes on Tia's airbase located near Homs, which is a main base for Iran-backed militia. So that's it for the news. Thanks for being with us on RTD Channel.